Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of whispering because there's a lot of people in the building and my door is open and we are literally in the full swing of it. Open house is in two days, so this is another another classroom setup vlog, but that is because my classroom is not set up. So I am about to act like a mad woman and start finally hot gluing things to the wall. I wanted to have everything organized first, but obviously that just hasn't happened and I need my classroom to look like a classroom before Friday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana and this is classroom setup vlog like four or five. I'm not really sure because this classroom seems like it'll never get set up. Guys, today is Wednesday, July 28th and we have open house July 30th. So that's two days and it's after school Wednesday. So really I have like one more day to get ready for class or open house or meet the teacher and my classroom is not done. So I'm gonna be here for the next few hours, like maybe only like two hours, and I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible. It's gonna be a lot of hot gluing to get these things on the wall, and I don't know, I'll just at least make my classroom kind of look like the shell of a classroom, and like it's partway ready to welcome students, and then, I don't know, we'll figure the rest out. If you couldn't tell, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now, a little bit stressed. Let me show you the current status of my classroom, what I've been working on, and like what I plan to do. So it's like a lot of things I've been working on. What you're gonna quick, quickly notice is that I have a lot of projects that are like partially done and a lot of things that still need to be completed. And I need to stop being so scatterbrained and like starting something and then moving on to something else. That's a big problem that I have. So this is what we have going on so far. Here is my partially done uh, teacher toolbox. So I already went ahead and spray painted it, but what I need to do now is continue to cut out all these labels that I made and put them into the different drawers. You can see that I tried to match my theme for my classroom that you guys have seen in my other videos, which is the white with the black dots. And I'm trying to go ahead and make the labels for those and put those in there, but I also like just kind of quit and moved on to something different. I also made these um, classroom schedule cards on Canva. These I plan to have these available in my TPT store, but I've been doing these as well, so that I need to figure out where those are going to go. And then I also made like little time cards to go with them. I made labels for my bins that match, you know, my theme. I had to redo my math talk letters in white because they were not visible on my back green board, so I need to fix that. I have taken out my math alphabet to be ready to go ahead and hot glue, but there's some certain letters that are not going to be really as applicable to fourth grade math like it was in fifth grade math, so I need to replace the Q, replace the V, and then the XYZ is up here. Yeah, there's a lot more to do, but we'll discuss that in a bit. So I think for now, my focus for the next few hours is just going to be to try to get as many things on the wall as possible and figure out like what I still need to create so that I can get that on the wall as well. Okay, alphabet is done. I'm still missing the Q and the V, but at least that's done. And so what I plan to do now, I think, is put the words that say like math resources above that. And I may just even do my whole math wall and just knock that out. So something kind of looks done today. I don't know if you guys remember this from a few vlogs ago. If you didn't catch the rest of my classroom set of vlogs, be sure to do that. Um, they will be linked below in the description, but I take all of my things that need to be hot glued when I move classrooms or like get ready for a new classroom, pack up an old classroom, whatever. I put them all in one container, so I just am able to grab this and that's where all of my things are for back to school that need to be hot glued or hung up or whatever. I know this trick may be like very common by now, especially because of teacher gram, but if you have not seen this yet, the tape trick is the easiest way to hang up 
anything, whether it's on a bulletin board or on the wall, because all you have to do is align it on a straight surface. So you guys saw I just used the edge of my bookcase. You align it on a straight surface, put the tape across it, and then stick it where you want it to go. Now I'm just gonna use my hot glue to like glue the corners and such, and it's gonna be laid out just the way I want it to be, which makes it so, so easy to hang up. Okay guys, we're making some progress. I have my place value chart on the math bulletin board. I usually leave it pretty blank because I'm a big anchor chart person and when we come back to school, we're gonna be doing a lot of procedures and things like that. So those expectations are gonna be along this back wall. So I need that to be blank. I realized doing this, I need to get rid of those mailboxes because they're gonna be in the way of like the things that I like and need. So the alphabet's up now. I need to tackle this um, hashtag math talk. As you guys can see, I love the boxwood. It looks really good, but that black does not look good. You can't like read the letters at all. So I need to take that down and put up the new white ones that I just created. Also guys, like I think they turned the AC off around like four, maybe 3.30, 3 o'clock. I don't know, but it's so hot in here. It is 6 p.m. and I'm like sweating and I don't sweat. It's just so hot in this classroom. Next, I need to tackle this area and that area up there. So this area is done. I realize it's not centered, but oh, flipping well. But this area is done for now because I usually have it say math is cool, but you guys know I'm changing the theme of my room and my letters for the word math are blue. And these are like my old school colors and I don't want to do blue anymore. So. I'm gonna go see if I can find like some box woody or plant looking cardstock or scrapbook paper to make that instead. Okay, I think I'm done hot gluing for today. I'm just really tired. So I'm going to get this teacher toolbox taken care of, knocked out, and then I'm going to like take pictures of it and then I'm gonna go home. Oh, really I'm gonna go like get a ball pump and get some scrapbook paper, but then I'm gonna go home. 